X, it's time for a new look at Honkai Star Rail. Well, upcoming open world space what? RPG. Yeah, a lot of space today from Genshin Impact Studio, Hoyaverse across mobile and PC. What? So Hoyaverse is going to show both ZZZ and Honkai Star Rail. The they got two oh, games on the Summer Game Fest. All right, let's take a look at this. Yeah. Star Rail just was completely under my radar until like two weeks ago. Mm hmm. Okay. It definitely doesn't look. It doesn't even look as high budget as Genshin. It doesn't feel like the next step. Yeah. You see the, but you see the, 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 like the, the IP there. You see who is making the game, but like mm -hmm. everything is empty. It's definitely low budget. Yeah, and it's, it still doesn't look bad. But you can tell it's a downgrade. And it's not like the Genshin sequel. The way ZZZ kind of seems to be. Yeah. And we'll, like, have, we'll have ZZZ later. But still, these animations are super miHoYo. Oh my god. Yeah, and the characters look great too. Yeah, character design, they're, they're masters at it. It's, it's mostly just the scenery. Everything looks very empty. Hmm. N not a lot of detail. And it's, uh, it's turn-based, right? I they, think so, I yeah. I think we talked about it. This is a turn-based game. They're going for stuff. They're making games. Yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. Do we get ZZZ next? I have wine to soothe the souls of honor guests. Okay. This is such a Genshin character. So this is Genshin in space. There it is. Okay. There it is. I really want a better idea of how this game plays. Mm -hmm. Because how this game looks, yeah, I'm sold already. How does it play, though? And how it sounds, too. Look at this. Alright. Yeah. It's sounding good right now. <laughs> Just a radio again. There it is. Ooh. Oh, oh. Yes, that's what I wanted to see. I just want a confirmation of that, you know? <laughs> oh my that god. Behind the back, third person camera, that's all I needed. Oh my god. Was that a character switch? Bear! It seems like teams of two. Wow, the amount of weapons! Oh my god, this looks <laughs> sick! Wait, dog, dog boy, dog boy kicks, dog boy kicks! Oh my god, this he's, looks amazing. Sanji. This looks crazy good. Oh, okay. Even these little things I, I love about it. The art style is great. Yeah. Okay, anime is over, Summer Games Fest is behind us. Uh, it was pretty much two MiHoYo games, the One Piece game. I guess Neon White is coming out next week, and that, that was the anime. That yeah. was the anime for Summer Games Fest. Uh, if something happens during Xbox on Sunday, we'll be here again. But otherwise, uh, see you next week for more reactions. I mean, there's plenty, plenty more stuff coming out for the channel. But as far as reactions go, I think this is it. And we need to break down this goddamn trailer. Let's go to first gameplay. Is this character new? No. This character, you have this character on, on the thumbnail art somewhere right i don't think i do but i think i've seen her somewhere okay uh yeah i th i think it's the first time we we uh i don't remember her from the last trailer so this there... is cool as hell man this was the moment we lost our minds when you see the third person like first of all this dash animation genshin impact straight up yeah straight up this dash animation right here is so genshin and then something that's really cool i don't know if you guys noticed uh she's getting shot and she's just got a, like a little deflect animation while she is sprinting. She doesn't even slow down. It's really awesome. So it, it really is a third person action slash action game. And I'm here for it. I'm totally here for it. It looks it looks so cool. Again, it's Genshin Impact animations, which are great. Uh, the, the, the effects around uh, the animations look great too. And it's like, if, it, if this is a true action slash game, with these animations, with this, this, these characters, this soundtrack, oh, 
Man, I'm totally in for it. Absolutely. And then they top it. Like, they keep showing new new animations and new... Look at this! Did we have Cat Girl already? Like, that's, that's new. And also, like, a lot of characters are showing up in Teams of Two. We see a lot of characters switching, but always in Teams of Two. And we saw at the start of the trailer, we saw a lot of uh, silhouettes also uh, paired up in Teams of Two. There might be something there regarding yeah groups of two i guess this is the bear i love the bear, the bear. bear but but stomp and it switches to it's always a guy and a girl isn't it sort of maybe samurai maybe you can make your own pairs damn look at this yeah switch to and big the spinneroo ah well it's so cool it is definitely not always a guy and a girl man the, the dog boy or wolf boy where are we going with uh wolf boy wolf boy with wolf jets boy kicks. The wolf boy kicks. It reminds me of Sanji from One Piece. Definitely, <laughs> dude. Oh, he's got a little. Well, I didn't even pick pick up on that. The start looks sick. Yeah, uh, everything about this, like the style of it, the the, the animations, and and even the concept. I'm like, yeah, sure. Genshin Genshin devs make a a hack and slash game. I want to see what it is. Yeah, you I, know. I think I think it's also uh, Scarlet Nexus was one of our, our uh, favorite anime games in a while, and mm. it's very present in our minds. And this reminds me of that uh, quite well. Sure, it feels like it's the same setting almost. Yeah, yeah, and that's very to its like it's very much to its favor. And it's also a third-person action game. Yeah, you know, a third-person hack and slash. Yeah, uh, I I can definitely see it, but we still don't know. What do you do? Is this a story-driven game, single-player? I mean, I, I bet there's going to be some gacha to it because we, we're seeing all these different characters. And when there's gacha, it's a little harder to make, like, a tailored story mode because you never know what the player got, you know? You don't know what character the player got in a random drop. Mm -hmm. So you don't know which abilities they're really bringing into the game. So it's harder to tailor missions around them, which means you got to make missions a little bit more generic. But what is it? We, we don't know. And that, that's my point. That's the next thing I would like uh to to know from the developers just show me what do you do yeah what do you do? What, what's the loop yeah what, what do you do and, and in a way it kind of worries me because only the only thing they've shown is small arenas very small arenas in mm. fact uh and there's a few enemies and I it's don't always even the mind same if it's just small arenas like this time like we've seen an open world with genshin let me see something else from mihoyo i'm totally fine with that yeah i, I guess I, as, as long as the gameplay loop is fun and they put us in these missions small missions and it's fun to play it's fun to kill these boss fights eh, sure yeah yeah i'm with you i'm with you but it's still like what is the, the gameplay loop needs to be very interesting for it to be a small arena with just boss fights or uh just fights in general with mm. with smaller enemies the the loop needs to be very interesting 100 percent yeah uh, that is Zenless Zone Zero, everybody. Let us know what you thought of it. You obviously already know our thoughts, but we'd love to hear from you. And as always, thank you very much for watching. My name is Glauku, and I'll see you next time. My name is Rene, too. And as always, thank you very much for watching. My name is Glauku. My name is Rene. And I'll see you next, next time. We'll see you. And as always, thank you very much for watching. My name is Glauku. My name is Rene. And we'll see you next time. Boy. Boy.